Okay, we're going to start to make a game that's a little bit like Brick Breaker, uh, crossed with a, a classic old arcade game called Pong. And to do that, I've started up Scratch, and I just need to get rid of Scratch the Cat. And the first thing we're going to do, well, if I go into stage, I can set my background. Let's import one. Let's try outdoors. What have we got? Pick whatever you want. I quite fancy a spacey type background. I wonder if I've got one. There we go. Stars will do. So there's my space background. <laughs> and what I'm going to do is make a ball and make it bounce around on this background. So to do that, I need to draw my ball. So I need to create it as a new sprite. Click paint. I'm going to choose a color that stands out that you'll be able to see. So I'm going to have a light yellow one. Click on the circle and hold down the shift key. That will help me draw a perfect circle. There we go. That will do. There we are. I'll make it quite big so you can see that the ball's bouncing around. And now that I've selected it, I'm going to call it up here, ball. There we are. So, what I now need to do is to put some action in to make it start from the middle and move off in random directions. So to do that, control, when the green flag is clicked, motion, go to x equals 0, y equals 0. Now remember that smack bang in the middle of the canvas there. So if I show you how that works, with the balls there, when I click the green flag, it'll automatically go back to the middle and start from there. Now, <clears throat> I want to make my ball move, so I need a forever loop. Drop that in and motion move 10 steps. Um, I'm going to leave it at 10, but the higher you make the number, the faster the ball will move. I'll show you in a little while how that works. So now, if I click, it'll start to move until it gets to the edge. What we want it to do when it hits an edge is look like it's bouncing off. So to do that, we need an if. I'll make this separately and then drop it in. So if, you see there's a gap there. So we can put a sensing command in there, if touching, and you get all your options. So if I'm touching the edge, I want my ball to bounce away. Now to do that, we put a move in, and I'm going to make it move minus 10. What this is, is a little trick to stop it sticking on the edge. Then, I want it to turn and I don't want it to turn 15 degrees every time because otherwise you'll be able to predict exactly where it's going so instead of that I'm going to replace that with an operator that says pick random I'm going to drop that in and my random degrees are going to be 150 to 110 generally because I've played around with those settings and that gives me a nice pleasing bounce that's a bit unpredictable but um, kind of looks right so now I'm going to drop this if in to the forever loop like that. So when I click the green flag, this ball will go to the middle and start to move around. When it touches the edge, this bit will come into play and it will bounce. Let's have a look. There we go. Now, if you remember, if I can change that to say 20, it speeds up. If I change it to 50, then you've got an impossible game. So I'll just change that back to 10 for the moment. There you go. So have a go at making your ball bounce around. 